I'm a historian and in this short video I would like to tell the development of the ancestry test since the 14th century by means of a short story. It has been greatly simplified so that the main point comes across better. Who am I? Where do I come from? And from whom do I descend? These are questions that have preoccupied people in the past as well as today and for this reason they have developed methods and procedures to get to the bottom of exactly that. Our starting point is an early 14th century person from Central Europe, perhaps somewhere in what is now Switzerland. A knight he was, and he really wanted to participate in a tournament and fight for fame and glory. Not everyone was allowed to participate in the tournament, no. This was reserved only for noble people. But anyone can say that, and therefore all tournament participants had to pass a test the day before. The herald took a close look at the helmets and the helmet decoration, the so-called crest, of the participants during the helmet show, and could then decide whether these actually belonged to a noble knight. Our knight was admitted to the tournament, and he was not only a successful knight, but also a quite popular lover. And he had many children, and they again had children, and still more children. And one of his descendants went to Spain in the 16th century, which was plagued by the abominable idea that Muslims and Jews, those of their descendants, even if they had been Christians for a long time, would never be full members of society. But it was also a time of departure to a new world. She had been urging her husband to take the leap to the new continent for a long time, but officially only those who were pure Christians were allowed to leave. Therefore, she gathered credible witnesses who confirmed that no Muslim or Jewish blood flowed through her veins. And indeed, she made it to America, even though her grandparents had the habit of not eating pork, at least on Saturdays. But nobody outside the family knew anything about it. She was one of the first Europeans to raise a family in the New World, and she could also enjoy many descendants. 18th century colonial Latin America. The Spaniards and Portuguese with large cities and mixed numerously with the indigenous population and with Africans who came mostly to America as slaves. Our descendant is located in a place bursting with wealth, the famous silver mountain of Potosi. But he was not rich. As a simple Indio, as the Spaniards called the indigenous people, he had to work in the mines. But wait a minute. His father, whom he had never met, had been Spanish, he was told. Thus, he was a mestizo, a descendant of Spaniards and indigenous people, and therefore could not be forced to do hard mine work. The Spanish officials questioned the village elders and the people of the surrounding villages, and they confirmed his Spanish origin. With his newly acquired freedom and far from the mines, he became a successful trader. He too was granted the happiness of children, and our last descendant lives today in the 21st century. Somewhere in a big US American city, he wonders where he comes from and who his ancestors were. In his house, his father's side maintained mainly German traditions. Well, a DNA test is no big deal nowadays. He quickly sent the cotton swab with his saliva to some private company. The evaluation of his DNA according to a very special procedure, which he doesn't understand anyway, is returned to him after a few weeks. 40% Iberian, 26% Central European, 12% Italian, but whoops, 9% North and 8% West African, where the 5% indigenous South American blood comes from, 
he had no idea. However, he feels mainly American, but his test has already given him a strange feeling. Maybe it would feel better if he knew that one of his ancestors was a noble knight who participated in tournaments. But the DNA test did not tell him that. For centuries, people have developed methods to find out where they come from and who their ancestors were. Whether today's ancestry tests are better, more accurate or reveal more truths is not relevant. More importantly, these procedures shape our ideas about ancestry, kinship and racial concepts. Perhaps it is better to focus on the descendants than the ancestors anyway.